हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चेंज मैनेजमेंट विच इज़ वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बिहेवियर सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल कमल सिद्धू फॉर मोर ईजी एंड सिंपल लेक्चर सेशन रिलेटेड टू बी बी ए बी कॉम एम बी एन एम कॉम एज वी नो दैट चेंज इज मूविंग फ्राम अ करंट स्टेट टू दी future state which is uh, beneficial both for the employees as well as for the organization so now let's first define the term change management so the process of planning implementing and fixing changes within the organization is referred to as the change management and uh, proper change management techniques help in reducing the resistance that opposes the change then the change management can be made successful by following uh, step wise systematic process so in this lecture session we will discuss the kurt levin change model to study how to successfully implement the change process kurt levin change model is a three step planned change process model so according to kurt levin the process of change is very complicated so a systematic step wise approach is required to implement the change in a smooth manner the first state that is unfreezing is the most important or we can say it is a critical stage of change process this step encourages the employees readiness and willingness to adapt to change or uh, we can say here the people are made aware of the need of change and are motivated to accept the change which could make their working environment better so at this stage there should be proper involvement of employees in the change process and management should make sure that everything is well communicated to the entire organization or the team in which the change has to be implemented the second stage is the actual implementation stage at which the transition occurs it involves the acceptance of new ways of doing things the actual change is implemented at this stage the transition or uh, accepting the change is not easy so the management should motivate and communicate the employees about the benefits of uh, adopting the change the third and the final stage is the refreezing stage at this stage people accept the change so for uh, better acceptance of change the employees should be rewarded for supporting the positives of the change process so this will also encourage other employees to perform in a better way so this is a three step change process model uh, which is also known as the kurt levin model this model of change management can be implemented by changing the behavior attitude and skills of the employees working within the organization then changing can also be done in existing organization structure system and process then changing the organization climate and culture and interpersonal styles of the people working within the organization so we can conclude that in order to successfully implement the change proper systematic process should be followed which should focus on encouraging and motivating the employees to accept the change so this is all in today's lecture session related to change management thank you